That's right. Welcome back to tonight on Channels TV. Let's talk about the Channels National Kids Club. Yes, who is ready? Yeah, because we are so ready. Kids, are you guys ready? You sure you're ready? You have your boots, your hose, you have them, uh, your shin guard. You've got everything ready. You want to play football? We're coming for you. Season 10 of the Channels International Kids Club. Who's been walking with us on this journey? Already 10 and we're from is that season 10 will bring double fun. Today... It's a deadline for submission of forms for the Lagos preliminary, so it has closed. We got a lot of entries today. We also got phone calls. Persons called asking for inquiries. Oh, no, it's, it's too late. You remember when I was telling you that time is ticking away that you need to do what you have to do. But uh, congratulations to all those that uh, were successful with the registration. We got a lot of entries. I can't tell you the figure on live TV. So when are they going to pick my team? But we need 32 schools from Lagos State uh, that will compete. Then we'll take two. Just two will make it to the international finals to go play with the other guys. So um, it is closed. On Monday, the technical committee, they will screen those forms. What is the objective? They want to get the, 20, the 32 schools that will compete at the Lagos preliminaries. So today is April the 27th, and it's the deadline for submission of forms. April the 30th, which is Monday, uh, the, the technical committee will start screening those entries May the 4th. After we have the teams that will compete, we're going to have the draw ceremony on May the 4th, May the 7th till the 11th. It's action time for the Lagos preliminaries. When we now have the two schools from Lagos that will go to the international level on May the, 20th, on May the 20th, it will be the arrival and the press conference for season 10. When that is done, then it means we are ready for action. May the 21st and 27th action will commence. Will commence. But hey, hey, don't, don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. There's going to be screening uh, because... Uh, I've seen on some forms already, and it tells that uh, some games masters, um, proprietor, proprietors, they didn't look through the rules and regulations. And remember, this competition has um, the philosophy of zero tolerance to eight cheats. So the technical committee, they're working so hard to ensure, we're not saying we'll will defeat H cheat in one day, but we're saying this is a model that can fight H cheats. Don't forget this revolution is being televised. We have everything on TV, that's enough database so that tomorrow when questions are being asked, we say, no, don't don't worry. Come on, we we'll, we'll have this guy a record. Uh, so they'll be screening, more screening, we'll screen till the final day. We'll keep screening just so we instill some discipline, some integrity, and let these kids know that uh, to be to be honest, really pays. So that's it. Uh, with the channel's kids club, I cannot wait for uh, the results from the technical committee. We know the schools from Lagos State and then we start getting ready for action. Sports tonight on your sports loving award winning channels television. Let's talk about the development of handball in Nigeria. When Samuel Ochewa and his board came in, they identified the league as one area that can develop the sport in the country. Yes, that's what they did. And now we're glad that the league has started right there in Abuja, the nation's capital. Let me just run through uh, some of the results uh, that happened today. Uh, that's it right there for the Men, Borno Spiders defeated Lagos Seasiders. Um, lost to Lagos Seasiders by 30 to 20 points. Yes, you see a lot of those big results is handball. I play two Vipers, lost to Kata Stars 23 to 30. Owena Kings lost to Niger United uh, 47 to 23. Safety shooters, uh, they shot safely and they were precise. And they defeated Nigeria Prisons 37 to 19. Uh, the defenders uh, defeated uh, Sokoto Rima by 30 to 20 points. And for the women, let's run to the women. And I told you yesterday, uh, the Imo Grasshoppers, they were a team that just so well with handball back in the day. They are back. They defeated Katsina Queens by 37 to 10 points. Owena Queens lost to Edo Dynamites 33 to 13. Seasiders Babes lost to Play Two Peacocks 23 to 32. That's 10 points different right, right there. Kada Queens lost to Defender Babes was closed. It to 21, while uh, Safety Babes defeated Abia Valiant by 39 to 24 points. So those are the results from the first day of the National Handball League. It's being played right there in Abuja. Action will continue tomorrow. Yes, of course, it should. Bruno Spiders for the men will take on Winner Queens. Lagos Seasiders will play Sokoto Rima. Kano Pillars versus play two Vipers. Aqua Shooters versus the Defenders. Safety Shooters will take on Kada Stars. While Nigeria Prisons will play Ninja United. 
for the women. Uh, Kada Queens will play uh, Owena Queens, Edo Dynamos will take on Seasider Babes, play two Peacocks, will play Abia Valens, while Katsina uh, Queens will go against Safety Babes, Defender Babes will clash with Emo Grasshoppers, who recorded a win in the first match. So that's it. Some good information you can use as regards the handball league. We love it and continue to monitor the progress. Let's go to the grassroots level. Now, we've said it for that for any country sport to be admirable, uh, there must be development at the grassroots level. We spoke to the chairman of the National Sports, National Grassroots Sports Festival. That one is also going on in Abuja. Talent from 15 states in the Federation, they are competing there. And we love it. Table tennis is in display, boxing. Uh, I saw chess, there was traditional sports, athletics, it's good. But let's talk about table tennis. Recently, table tennis has given us the right reasons to talk. Uh, in the last six, seven, eight years, we're talking about Funky Ocean Ike, Shagun Toriola, Aaron O'Quadri, and sometimes we had Adam O'Fiong in the mix, but I'm saying we need to make new stars. And how do you make new stars if you don't go to the grassroots? Olufunke or Shanaike has been playing table tennis since 1988. As I remember when she was a cadet, and that was when her career started to blossom. And she has been there, done that multiple African champion, a multiple national champion. She's number one in Nigeria, and number two in Africa. And the last time Funke was here, I said, how can we get people like you with all the experience to support so we can discover more talent? We'll need to find out what she's doing. Let's welcome Olufunke or Shanaike. She joined us now live in the studio. Uh, good to have you on Sports Tonight, champ. I'm happy to be here, Austin. I know, all the time. <laughs> Most excited to, to have you around. Um, we've, we've, we talked about this the last time you were here. You mentioned the foundation and things that you can do and all other um, ex-table tennis players can also do. So tell us, what have you been doing to discover talents for Nigeria? Um, I started the foundation last year from Kelshen Ike Foundation. And the reason is just my little way of giving back to the sport that has given me a lot. As you know that we have a lot of talent in Nigeria, you know. And I started this because every time I come home on holiday, you know, table tennis is not like lawn tennis that a lot of um, athletes playing it are from very rich family. Mm. Unfortunately, table tennis, the kids are from very humble family. And a lot of them cannot afford to buy 150,000 rubber or shoe, you know. Mm. And most of the time they come to me and be like, Sister Funke, do you have this? Do you have that so one day I just woke up and be like I need to do something mm. it is very important you know I need to give back to this you know sport that has given me a lot you know so I just woke up I said okay I'm going to make from culture Nike foundation so I started it last year I invited a lot of talent from Nigeria and we did like a four or five days um, training program okay. then we ended with the tournament and it mm. worked well now we, we are doing the second one now and the second one is very very special to my heart tell me about it you know because that is to celebrate my birthday oh. my birthday is tomorrow oh, you know so we started we started yesterday and it has been so fantastic mm. you know i'm so happy seeing kids with talent i'm so happy seeing what they are using you know what they are using is unbelievable they are using very hot rubber and they are playing so 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 very good i like that I like that right there because at that level, the passion is raw and they are talented. Yeah, so exactly. they'll come back to you. Sports tonight on Channels Television. Let's go on this break. When we come back, Funke will tell us more. We're not living the grassroots. Don't go anywhere. Stay.